Hello gamers. So, uh, as you guys know, I've recently partnered with a hosting company called Zap Hosting. So I'm going to be showing you on their website how to make an Among Us private server uh, fairly easily. So the first method is going to be for you guys who don't have server-sided mods and only want to test client-sided mods, maybe play with a couple friends, just something super simple, easy to set up, and it's only going to be a few clicks. So my link will take you to here. You're going to click rent a game server. It'll be imposter. Among us. And it'll start at 1362 Canadian or slightly cheaper uh, in other places. Uh, I'm in Canada, so I'm going to put mine in Montreal here. Um, and then I'm going to... 10 slots is fine for me because I'm only playing with a maximum of 10 friends. So that's $12.26 a month. I don't need anything extra. You guys probably won't need anything extra. You don't need the premium for Among Us because Among Us runs fairly easily. So you're just going to easily set everything up here. And it'll come out to $14.70 a month, Canadian at least, um, which is just... Uh, a pretty decent deal already and then you can go ahead and pay so if you want to use PayPal you'd select PayPal agree to all the terms and then you can click use voucher and put in code Spectre I don't know if I can use my own code but this code will give you 20% off uh, per month so that's only eleven dollars for a custom among us server and not dealing with the grief of being online getting kicked from lobbies hackers joining your games and anything like that so this is great for private discords just for you and your friends and to test out client side of mods if you're worried about being banned from official public servers you can get your own private imposter server uh, and that will work out so a lot cheaper 20 percent off for life from your first purchase and it's eleven dollars and seventy seven cents per month so then you would click buy now and it'll open a paypal window so once your purchase goes through you'll be all set up your server will be instantly set up and there'll be a whole web page of tools just like if you ever had a minecraft server in the setup uh, how to get connected to your server all of the necessary uh, items to download to your pc uh, and all easily done so you, if you guys have connected to an imposter server before it'll be similar to that but everything you need will be included with documentation when you buy the server so that is the easy method and there is a second method but uh what i would recommend is going with this even though you can't use server-sided mods currently, uh, you can easily switch the game if you ever get bored uh, to continue your 20% off. And uh, you can go with any of these games that I'm scrolling through here. They've got a ton of Minecraft, uh, 5M, uh, SCP, 70s to Die, Ark, um, just a ton of games in general and it's all available to easily switch to so that's why i would recommend going with the pre-made server uh, but if you're going to be using server side of mods or you want a little more freedom as to what you're doing uh, then you can go with a vps so a vps is a virtual private server it runs windows or linux or any other operating system that you might be using so Right now we have VPS hosting here. So I typically use a Windows VPS uh, because it's easier to control. Um, there's a user interface uh, through KVM and it's not really any typing or coding. You can see everything that you're doing. You can also do it with Linux. There is a Linux port and Linux is quite a bit cheaper, but I would use Windows just because it's easier for me personally and I understand it better. So. I would click Windows. And here we go. So you got this. No waiting time after ordering Windows. And I would click uh, Dallas because that's what's available right now. Uh, the lowest amount of memory because Among Us is super easy. Four cores is perfectly fine. I was running it on one core, so this will be completely plenty for even multiple IP addresses if you want multiple servers running. Uh, 25 gigabytes 
again, fine. Everything default is fine. Um, I might switch to three IP addresses here. Uh, just collect a couple more. If you want to have one primary server and having other servers running under it. But if it's just simple for you and your friends, you can stick with one IP address, that's fine. If you're doing other stuff on it as well, I recommend three IP addresses, but that is just up to you really. Um, 500 megabit up and down, that's fine. Everything's fine. Fine, fine, fine. And same deal, log in with PayPal and you can still use my voucher code. Check, check, check. Use voucher, SPCT0RR, and go ahead and click redeem. So clicking redeem, we'll cash that in. and it'll give you a nice 20% off discount for life. So not just your first month, every month after that will also be 1333 Canadian or even cheaper US or Euros if you're somewhere else. So this is a pretty decent deal for VPS, especially if you're doing other stuff on it. Uh, and I'll be showing you guys how to configure Imposter on that VPS in one second. Okay, so once you purchase your server, I kindly got one sponsored by Zap for my own uh, processes. But once you purchase your server, if you purchase a Windows server, it'll look just like this. You'll have a nice setup here. I'm not gonna show you guys my password for my server because I don't want you guys logged into it, but you'll have an IP address, um, something similar to that. I was gonna make that public anyway because this will be a public testing server. Uh, that'll be the test IP. Uh, so don't worry about me leaking that too much, but you'll have a IP address and you'll be able to connect to it. So you're going to have your own administrator password. You can see it by clicking this. I'm not going to show it, but you'll be able to see it. And once you do that, you're going to connect to your server using something called remote desktop. So if you type in remote here, it comes default on every Windows PC. Remote desktop connection, type your IP. For the username, you're going to type administrator, just like it is right here. And when it asks for your password, you're going to type password and it'll log in just like this to a screen like this with just Chrome and basically nothing else installed. So once you're on to here, you'll see this easy window here and I'm just gonna get the first step done right out of the way. So you're gonna go to dashboard, add roles and features and it'll be a nice wizard. Uh, next, role-based or feature-based installation. Uh, you can skip to features and you're gonna need both the 3.5 framework and the 4.7 framework just to make sure if they use either of those. And you're gonna click next and install. And that'll go in the background while we're doing the other stuff, just so we have our nice net framework for our games. Next thing you're gonna do is go to Chrome. All right, so once you finish that first little step, the steps after that are fairly easy and are all included on the imposter server website. So currently two modes to run the imposter server in. Uh, you're gonna do the simple setup today. So we're going to download the .NET 5.0 runtime and it's downloaded, open it up. And I've already done it, but there'll be a little button that says install and it'll be super easy. So we'll just cancel that for now. But then you're going to go to latest dev release. You're going to find, you don't want the CLI build, you want the server build. So we're going to find the Windows one. This is the Windows, nope. Here's the Windows Server build. There it is, build imposter server 1.2.2, Windows 64 zip archive. We're going to download that, open it up, and there's a bunch of stuff in here, a bunch of good stuff. So this is where we put our plugins when you want imposter server-sider plugins. Uh, the pre-built don't have this 
that are on Zap hosting. So that's the only reason I'd say to go through all this process of installing this is to have server-sided mods instead of client-sided mods, but that's a little bit of a waste of time. So honestly, I would recommend uh, doing the pre-mades because they're much easier to set up. But if you're insistent on having control over your server, then I'm going to finish showing you guys how to do that. So you're going to click extract. It'll extract this folder. You're going to go to the config.json, open this up. So you're actually going to have to right click it, edit with notepad plus plus, and you're going to change this server name right here quickly to 45.43.18.0. Point twenty eight, or whatever's at the top here for you. This will be different for you, so you're going to need to adapt it from whatever yours was, but my IP is this. And the ports can stay the same, and the listening IP can stay the same. Uh, for the anti-cheat, if you're testing out mods, you want to set this to false so it doesn't kick people from the game. I'm going to leave it true for now because I'm not going to be using any mods when I test it. But if you want it to not kick people, set that to false. So the next thing you're going to do is we're going to set rules so people can connect to the server. So we're going to go to control panel. We're going to go to network and internet, uh, system and security, windows, defender, firewall, advanced settings inbound rules, new rule. Uh, we're going to go to port, TCP, all local ports, allow the connection, next, aim, TCP inbound, new rule, port, UDP, all local ports, next, Allow the connection, next, name, UDP, inbound, outbound rules, new rule, port, next, TCP, all remote ports, allow the connection, next, next, TCP, outbound, New rule, port, next, UDP, all remote ports, next, allow the connection, next, next, name, UDP outbound, finish. So once you have all of your new rules done, then you can run your imposter server. I'm just going to run it, or info, run anyway. It will open up for me. And this is the latest version. So this will work with the latest version of Among Us, which is currently, uh, I'll show you guys in a second when I open it up to test this. But here is what it will look like if it's run correctly. Um, what you're going to do after that is you're going to go back to this release imposter page, the imposter GitHub. You're going to go to the main page, imposter. You're going to go to Windows latest release if you're on a Windows computer. Uh, imposter client Windows 64.zip. Download super easy. Open it up. Extract all. Extract. It might take a while because it's extracting an exe and a couple of files. All right, so once that's done, you're going to go into your downloads folder. You're going to have it as imposter client win64. You're going to run it. And it might give you a safe computers message. It's, it's safe to use. And you're going to type in your IP address for your server here. So mine is 45.43.18.28. So in that window, it's going to be 
45.43.18.28. And I'm going to double check this to make sure it's correct. 45.43.18.28, that's correct. And then I'm going to go ahead and click save. So that will automatically change my IP address for my Among Us game. Then I'm going to go to Steam, go to Among Us, click play. It'll open up my Among Us game. And I'm going to click online. And once I can see this, I'll see if my server has switched correctly. It says imposter in the bottom right corner. It has indeed. I can click create game, any settings, click confirm, and it'll open up with me on to the ship and my friends can join. And I don't have to worry about hackers because this is a private server. So as long as you only share the IP with people who you know and they only put it in the imposter client, there won't be anybody on your server who you don't know or don't want and no dealing with randoms or lag. As you can see, my ping is 50 MS, which is very low. Um, so that is going to be super reliable for the game. So I'm going to go over how to switch back to regular servers if you want to. You just click on here, click your local region, and now I'm back on official servers. And to get back onto the imposter servers, you follow the steps that I had just done before, which was simply uh, go to the imposter client and type in the IP and have it switch your IP for you. So that was my tutorial on how to download an imposter server manually and how to do the pre-built on zap.com. I would recommend the pre-built for sure as doing the VPS is a lot more complicated, but if you have the technical knowledge to do it, uh, you can do the VPS as well. Uh, remember, uh, zap hosting, in my opinion, has the best rates on the internet for the quality that you get. Um, as well as the best rates already, you can use code SPECTRE, uh, lowercase s, just like my username right here, lowercase s, P E C T zero R R for 20% off for life on your first purchase. So every month renewing, it will always be 20% off. Um, so that's a pretty decent deal. It's also worth saying that you can run an imposter server off your PC with port forwarding, but I'm not an expert in that, so I'm not gonna be doing a tutorial on how to do that off your own PC because there's a real security risk to that on your own PC. But when using a VPS, the worst thing that can happen is you lose your VPS and you have to reset it, get a different IP, anything like that. You can't really screw it up that bad because it's not really your computer in the end. Um, so, the worst that can happen is you get reset, really. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. Make sure to give Zap Hosting a checkout using my link in the description. Uh, make sure to look at all my other socials. Join my Discord if you guys need any more help with setting up servers. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.